Welcome back to Philly Live. Acting Without Boundaries is a Bryn Mawr-based performing arts program that provides opportunities to people with physical disabilities. Ashila Waku spoke to the founder and some actors at Widener Memorial School in North Philadelphia as they rehearsed for their upcoming fall production of The Wizard of Oz. And she learned that this special organization is about the ability, not the disability. Walk through the halls of Widener Memorial School and you may hear the gentle melodies of students singing. That's thanks to Christine Rouse. Growing up, Christine was the only student in her high school with cerebral palsy and she felt isolated. After graduating from St. Joseph's University, with the encouragement of her family, she started acting without boundaries. It is something that I wish I had in high school. AWB offers theater productions for people of all ages living with physical disabilities. Christine's goal is to show both children and adults how to shine on stage while building self-esteem. AWB is about the ability and also disability. Assistant director Will Thomas started as a performer 10 years ago. When you get on stage and you portray a role, you, you become a whole new person. I wouldn't be sitting here talking with, with, with you or even possibly alive if it wasn't for this program. Now, Will gives back to the organization that impacted him so deeply by mentoring children and watching them express themselves in ways they never had a chance to before. So if I tell them that, that I believe in them, they'll learn to believe in themselves and go after, and go after whatever it is they want in life. AWB benefits the entire community. Christine says people who watch the shows don't see wheelchairs and physical challenges, just talent. Children who learn about disabilities from a young age are more accepting when they're older. We teach disability awareness, something that I'm passionate about. It also gives able-bodied audience members a glimpse into what daily life is like for the cast members. The disabled community is the only community that anyone can join at any time, right? One fall, one stroke, one medical issue. So we need to bring that, that experience to them. But living with a disability doesn't mean you can't do your favorite things or find new passions. AWB's newest program is the Acting Lab. The group takes their program into local schools like Widener Memorial. You are in Munchland. Where I met three young actors who had never done theater before, but earned starring roles as Dorothy, the narrator, and... I'm playing as the wizard. It's been um, amazing so far. Um, it really brings out my self-confidence and stuff. It's fun. It's fun. Good experience. It gets you out of your show. I know that some of the kids in there can get really nervous with performing in front of us. The whole school and parents, it gets very scary, but you know, if you have like your friends by your side, you're not really that scared. When troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney top. I was kind of like an adult. As a child, you know, I, I, I didn't really have your normal, your, your normal uh, ch childhood. So when I see the, the smiles on these kids' faces, it, it, it reminds me of like all the uh, childhood hood that I could have had. As acting without boundaries has grown over the last 20 years, Christine has loved watching her performers grow too. I'm proud of I'm really come. I'm proud of teaching all the actors who get a lot out of it. And the things that you dare to dream really do come true. I'm Sheila Watko for Philly Live.
my goodness, those kids are just incredible. Acting Without Boundaries will celebrate its 20th anniversary with the show at the Haverford School in September. But if you'd like to see some AWB performers on stage sooner, you can this Sunday. AWB Junior's production of We Want to Go to School, The Fight for Disability Rights will take the stage at 4 p.m. at the Agnes Irwin School in Rosemont. We have a link to tickets at NBC10.com slash find it on 10.